Hi, I'm Ethan Berry for the Spex Howard School of Media Arts. We're down at the Majestic Theater Complex today on Woodward Avenue in downtown Detroit, taking a look at what Joe Zania and his family have been able to build up since 1942, when their family bought this, one of the oldest bowling alleys in the country. Let's go check it out. Joe Zania and his family have owned the business since the 40s and they have constantly been making improvements and additions. The Majestic Theater Center started off as the Garden Bowl, which my father bought in 1946. And we developed the rock and bowl, the rock and roll in the theater, and the cafe took on a new image. There seems to be a local controversy over where Harry Houdini held his last performance. And it was uh, on Halloween night, 1926, when he passed away. The week before, his uh, wife ordered the tank on Sunday, broken open, and he was, the chains were taken off him, and he was rushed to the hospital. He died of peritonitis, poisoning, blood poisoning. He, that, that was caused by a punch in the stomach at McGill University in Toronto, where he used to be able to tighten his muscles on his stomach and take a heavy punch, and he was punched when he was quite ready for that and it caused a rupture of the spleen or the, or the appendix or something in him that caused the blood poisoning to set in. Then he came to Detroit and he did a week of shows here, but on the last Sunday, that's when his wife ordered him to be taken to the hospital. And he died the following Saturday, which was Halloween, 1926. What a cool place. I can't really think of anywhere else where you can either bowl or play pool, catch fine dining or a deli sandwich, comedy or a Slayer show. For Spex Howard School of Media Arts, I'm Ethan Berry. Have a good day.